Hi everybody, this is uh, Jeff here and coming at you today with a DIY tutorial on how to make yourself a hanging newspaper strop. So I came up with this idea just uh, looking at some materials I had around my house. I'm kind of excited to share this with you. Hopefully you'll give it a try and let me know what you think. And of course, uh, report back uh, down below and comment as well. So to do this hanging paper strop, you're going to need a paper bag, in this case one from Trader Joe's. You'll need a piece of cardboard, a strip that is three inches by 15 inches long. You also need, of course, newspaper. Uh, you'll need some tape. I used packing tape. You also need a um, pair of scissors and a tape measure. Okay, everyone, so uh, here's what we're gonna need to get started on making our hanging newspaper strop. So my Trader Joe's paper bag has the handles that are glued onto the paper bag. That's really important to making this particular newspaper hanging strop. So make sure when you go and find one or you're looking through your house that it has the handles. But I'm just using my scissors, right, to cut right down that seam, okay, on both sides of the bag. And then once I get to the bottom seam, flip it open and then make a straight cut uh, across the bottom there. Okay, now when you make this cut, uh, and th this bag was doubled up, I think, so whenever I made that cut, I actually have two separate pieces of paper bag to make our hanging strop with. Okay. <clears throat> One and two. So uh, I'm going to put uh, that aside for the moment and then get uh, the cardboard. So the cardboard that I have is just ordinary cardboard. It's an Amazon shipping box and this happens to be three inches wide by 15 inches long. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take that cardboard strip and lay it right in between the one handle of the one piece of paper bag that I have and then take the um, the paper bag and just stretch it across the cardboard. Try to make it nice and taut. Okay, make a nice crease you really want that, you don't want it to be sloppy, so try to make that as tight as you can. Okay, fold it, and then you can flip it over, wrap it around again a second time if you wish, just like I did here. Okay, and make those seam again. You can see I'm really just trying to make that nice and tight and with the seams. Okay, and then just get your packing tape and tape it down. All right, so here we're just applying the, uh, the packing tape. Okay, applying the packing tape onto that portion of the paper bag. All right, so I needed a couple of pieces in this case. All right, that's all you have to do is just tape it down. Easy enough. Okay, then of course I have the other paper bag there, right? And more or less going to Put those loops on opposite ends of each other. Okay. Just like that. And I'm going to repeat the same process that I just did. So folding it over, making sure that the paper bag is nice and tight to the cardboard. Okay. And then I'm going to tape it down. Okay, so uh, all we really need to do at this point is take the uh, paper bag, fold it over itself again, and again, make a nice tight crease. Okay, fold it over. Get the packing tape. Okay, this will be the back side of the strop, most likely. But yeah, just take the uh, packing tape and Tape it down. Again, it doesn't, don't worry about it looking pretty because uh, we're going to be putting our newspaper over top of all of this. Okay, I just had to use a couple of pieces of tape. Now, the problem with this design as it is right now is that those two pieces will basically slide uh, independently of one another, which isn't a good thing. So uh, what we're going to have to do is take our um, 
You, know, you can see how it's sliding. Well, we don't want that because we're gonna be pulling on the strop, of course. And so what we need to do is uh, take some more packing tape and just fit it in between what will be the, the handles uh, of the hanging newspaper strop. So, and just fit it in between the handles. Okay, and you only need maybe a four or five inch piece here. It doesn't need to be a lot, just enough to keep it in place. Okay, tape on one end, and then we'll do the same thing on the other end as well. Okay, it's easy as that. Now that uh, those two pieces of tape are secured, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hold in place now whenever you go to hang this and actually put tension on the two handles. Okay. Now I've got my newspaper, and I had to cut my newspaper to uh, the prop appropriate length, and it, it, should be in, um, it should be the same length as the actual uh, surface area of the strop itself. So this is just you know, any kind of newspaper you want. You just find some, some good newspaper, right, Sunday edition, whatever. And um, I think I had about maybe five or six pieces stacked on top of each other. Again, you don't, you're not going to need a whole lot here. But, um, you know, put the, uh, put the the strop that you've made so far into a sheet or a few sheets of newspaper. Fold it over. Try to make that nice and tight. So, again, um, creasing it and getting um, my packing tape to actually secure it down. All right, pretty simple to do. You guys are probably getting the idea here of where I'm headed with this. So this will be, again, the back side of the strop. And I have yet to test this system, but uh, you know I've read a lot about how newspaper is a great medium for stropping your razors. So, um, I can't wait to actually try this and see how it performs. It's kind of fun to try new materials, and again, you, know, you don't have to use newspaper, but, you know, it looks, it looks good, all right? And I understand newspaper is a pretty good medium for um, abrasives like chromium oxide, for example, or diamond spray. But um, anyway, getting back to uh, construction here, so uh, I need to make sure that that newspaper does not slide up and down the strop, too. So I just had to uh, cut a piece of tape here, and uh, much like I did previously, uh, use the tape to secure the newspaper to the strop. So I want to try to minimize the amount of tape that I actually have on the surface area, the stropping surface area. So the majority of that tape would be on the back side where I really don't care what it looks like anyhow. So you can see just a small bit there on that end, and I'll, then I'll just uh, repeat that process here on this side as well. All right, just fit the tape in between. All right, fit the tape in between just like that. Secure it down. All right. And now we have the beginnings of our hanging newspaper strop. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take this down to my basement where I do a lot of my honing. Okay, you'll see I have actually two hooks because um, I have a couple of strops here. But the um, the newspaper strop as it is um, hangs fairly well from a you know just a regular utility hook, let's say. But what I found uh, is that the handle as it's folded doesn't hang as well as um, I'd like. So what you can actually do is unravel this, okay? So in essence, you're turning it inside out and making it look like this. And again, th this is, I guess, if you have a hook, right? Like I do to hang my strops. And this actually um, now holds on to that hook a little bit better and I think leaves the surface area uh, more flat for you to actually do your stropping. So grab a razor and strop away on your new hanging newspaper strop. Guys, this is pretty sweet. I mean, I'm excited about this. I mean, it costs you absolutely nothing. If you're a beginner and you don't have a leather strop and you need one, um, just give this a try. I mean, I'm excited about this. 
right? Give this a try. I'm going to try this for the next 30 days. I'm taking the Mike Baker challenge. And he's uh, going to be doing a, a newspaper strop for 30 days on one razor. Uh, but I'm going to commit to this for 30 days and give it a try. So anyways, I'm going to black here, guys. Give this a try. Comment down below. And let, me, let me know what you think. Um, hopefully you found this enjoyable. Thanks. I'll see you.